you, I, I kind of saw some of your papers and started realizing that they were answering questions that I had or questions that I wish I had thought to ask. So for example, when you, one of your papers, and please correct me because it, again, it's me quoting you to you, uh, talked about research productivity from grants and grants awarded. And that mm. one of them, one of your results were that the people that get the most money aren't actually the most productive. Do you want to expand on that a little bit? Yeah, but that's a very good uh, example, Sam. And I think it's very relevant uh, to, to, to academics and uh, to everyone. Um, decreasing returns, decreasing mar marginal returns of research funding, I think was the title of the paper. Um, basically, scientists get grants or do research. And there's this Matthew effect. There's, a, there's, a, there's many reasons why in the reward system of science, the more you got, the more you will, you will receive. So if you already got a grant, uh, they'll be more happy to give you more grants. Yeah. And then you get more grants. And then you get so much grants that you might not know what to do with that money. And you start like being less efficient with it. If I give you one, five, you're going to like, squeeze that limit because that's yeah. all you got. But if I give you five million money, it's by like something irrelevant. And it's, okay, whatever. They're always accountable. But anyway, the point is, this mechanism leads to concentrations of resources in the hands of a minority of researchers. And that's something that we observe in the paper. Like most money goes, the majority of the money goes to the minority of the researchers who would be eligible to apply for it. For instance. So there's, it's a highly concentrated distribution of resources, which is something that we might want to question like right away. Like why is money not more equally distributed? Ah, because the best researchers and then it's this narrative of like, we yeah. give it to the best because they can exploit it better. And then our paper kind of calls that into question or actually puts a limitation to that yeah. and says there's a point where like this system stops to be efficient and is that every time you give more, there's, you're actually squeezing a little less of your best researcher and best being like whole old white man who's been doing this since the 70s and is not retiring yet because why would he with his 500 trying to be? I'm exaggerating a little bit here. No, but no, like, no. It's, but it's, like, of course, when you're a junior researcher, you cannot be defined as the best from a bibliometrics perspective, which is like how much papers that you published in the past. I mean, if if you don't have funding before, it's hard to get funding. If you're a junior researcher, guess what? You never got funding before. So how do you even start? And so there's an age or, you know, bias in this and well, okay, what if? I'm just, I'm, di I'm digressing a little bit here, but. No, 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 but it's, it's great yeah. because you were able to say like, there's a problem and it's like, well, people want to say, well, we're giving all the money to the people that are the best and they're going to do the most with it. And your research says, well, actually there's a cap to it. So now we can empirically say there's actually um, a reason why instead of giving the most to a little bit like 80, 20, it, it should actually be more like. Um, you know, it should be distributed in order to do the greatest impact. And yeah, you might be giving it to some people that don't have an impact, but overall the impact will be greater because you have spread it out and they're able to do more with what they have. And it's not that we have to distribute this equally. I don't think that system, like we, I, I believe in the like meritocratic, let's say yes. like the more you did, the more you, it's a proof that you might be able to, like, so there's, there's some efficiency in the system and it makes sense, but there's just, there's a point where it breaks, and and it, it kind of counter into it's counterintuitive that governments, like we've seen in Canada in the recent years, and I'm, again I don't know where this program started, but there's this thing like where we we create this very very large grant to attract like international, like we 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 have this we're we're it's hard I don't exactly have the numbers I don't want to say something that's that's wrong but like there's this tendency of like having bigger pies we're going in the opposite direction essentially right. we have this giant grant where people come in like heroes and we give them all the money and i think my opinion and my belief based on not just based on this research but also like being an academics myself knowing how, how it's hard to get funding and and you know that we're all capable of publishing good good research that that you would be better off taking that hundred million dollars and giving it to you know a thousand scientists rather than one over a decade that's yeah, it. and now we have the data to prove it.